Speaking of a situation that can't get fixed, but Dale Earnhardt Jr. wants to, he talking about Bluey over here, and he joins a lot of parents, especially dads, who think Bluey sets unrealistic expectations. Oh, this is fun. Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s, his two daughters apparently love Bluey just like my two daughters. And while Bluey does a great job depicting more modern family roles and having positive parental figures, may not be the most realistic portrayal of a family whose parents have to go out and make a living. Young kids may not fully understand why their mom and their dad may not be playing with them as often as it happens on Bluey. <laughs> yeah, if you ever seen that show, they don't work. They on welfare. I don't know. They some rich welfare parents. They always with their kids. Uh sound like my ass uh, so as Earnhardt talked with uh the athletic uh, the conversation got to bluey and Earnhardt revealed his issue with the show while Earnhardt feels that he does his best to be with his kids uh-oh you heard that the show creates an unrealistic expectation that no parent in real life can possibly match oh let's get through his comments before I comment um the thing that annoys me about bluey is I'm gonna be completely transparent I think I'm a really good dad all right I'm pretty happy about my daddy. <laughs> I feel like I'm present in their lives. I'm available for them and they know where I'm at. But we watch Bluey and the kids are like, come on, dad, do this. Come on, dad, pretend this. So every episode, my kids watch Bluey and see the dad is like the kid's best friend. Always available. Always there. Anytime they want the dad to get in on the fun or to play, he's never too busy. He's never got to go to work. He's never got his this thing he's got to do or he's never mowing the lawn and whatever right <laughs> it's always yep you got it i'm gonna do what the kids want me to do and pretend with them so my girls mainly isla who just turned five they have the same expectation of me isla says this multiple times a day hey dad pretend this and i never say anything about it because i know you're supposed to let them pretend you're supposed to let them create and imagine but the dad on bluey he is setting these expectations for our children that are unrealistic because my daughter thinks, oh, yeah, my dad should do that. My dad will do that. We'll ask him to do it, and he's going to do it. I'm sure some people will have different opinions about all that. I'd be curious to hear others' opinions. I know somebody's going to say, there will come a day when nobody's going to be asking you to pretend anymore, and you're going to be so sad. And I know that's coming. I'm not wishing my life away, but Bluey makes things challenging because the expectations are high. Hmm. A little suffering over here, Dale Earnhardt Jr. From perfect is the enemy of good, right? Like, so Bluey Daddy is looking perfect. And you're like, eh, how do I measure up to that? Well, we know perfect's the enemy of good. So there's going to be some distance here. But let's dive into this, what he's really feeling. All right. So your kids having high expectations is not a good thing. You're right. It's a great thing. <laughs> like... Them having these absurd expectations is a great thing. Let me tell you why. The complaint is not. And the disappointment that is triggering you, the parent is not either. And that's the real problem. The expectations, because you got to talk kids into things. And you got to talk kids out of things. That's called maturity. You got to know what things you can do, what things you can't do. And you got to know how you have to challenge yourself with the wins and the losses, right? That's life, basically. Always keep the challenge involved in wins and losses in the process, whatever you want to call it. So kids thinking, oh my God, my dad's always going to be there. But then your cat, kid's disappointed is a teaching moment. Not the expectations the problem. It's the problem is that you can't talk the kid through this or the kid is complaining and you can't get them back to a good place. So I think that's the trigger right here. It's really landing on Dale Earnhardt, who earlier said, you know, my kids know where I'm at. <laughs> you know, and I got to do a lot of things. Look, he's really caught up in a dilemma. And this is the dilemma. The dilemma is being Dale Earnhardt Jr. And all that comes with that, which is going to remove you from your family or being there for your family. And that's not being Dale Earnhardt Jr. who can give us this generational wealth continuously, right? So that's what it is. It's the truest dilemma. Most, most successful parents feel this way, man or woman, mom or dad. I had this conversation several times in the last couple months. Parent guilt. Man, I'm on this trip. My boy's just flying around. Got to go chase that money and got to do their job. I got friends that tour. You know, I got friends that try to bring their kids and meet them in certain dates, certain cities. But look, if you got a 
you got a two month tour. You're coming home on three random weekends, six out of 60 days. Your kid ain't seeing you one tenth, mm-hmm, 10% of the time your kids see you, but you brought in a couple million. See what I'm saying? So Dale Earnhardt really is, <laughs> he, he really is displacing his issue with Bluey. The real issue is Bluey is saying, this is how it is in my world. But that's when Dale Earnhardt has to say, that ain't how it is in our world. But keep watching that world because our world is different. My son does this a lot. He's like, Daddy, that person can spend the night over there. That person can um, watch that show. And I always talk him through it. What's your last name? Wiley. What's their last name? Perez. Okay. Is that the same? No. Well, then the rules won't be the same. <laughs> and you just keep talking until they're like, oh, and a light will click. If not, your kid is always going to be attached and always going to complain and always going to expect the other one because you haven't talked them through it. So I'm not blaming Dale Earnhardt as a bad dad, but I'm just saying, use these as teacher moments. This ain't hard. And don't blame cartoons. (laughs) Expectations? Nah. I had to deal with this when I was, I had my first kid, Maraca. I was an active football player. I'm not going to quit football. So guess what? I saw her less. Now I got my itty bitties here. Was faced with it again when I was leaving FS1. And they were trying to make me travel. And I was like, man, I don't want to travel, dog. I'm too old, too crazy, man. I love my kids. I got to see them all the time. Yes, I do. I am Bluey's daddy, damn it. <laughs> so you make concessions, man, right? Yeah, there's there was some money out there I could have chased. But there's some money in here that's coming to me now. Uh, uh, so the point being... Just don't blame stuff, man. Don't teach your kids to blame stuff either, man. Like, work through it. Every problem has a solution built into it. That's why it's a problem. It's almost like inverted problem. Solutions. Solutions are inverted problems. And problems are inverted solutions, right? Just got to pull it out. Simple as that. Come on, Dale Earnhardt. Hit the corner. Finna get busy. Tell the big homie who is he. You know what to do right here. All right.